Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. You saw the title, you clicked, and I won't disappoint. This isn't some kind of a gimmick. This week I share with you a case-controlled, longitudinal clinical study published in the Tikrit Journal of Pharmaceutical Sciences, which is a peer-reviewed journal out of Iraq. In places like Iraq, people can't readily afford treatments such as TRT, so researchers are always seeking viable alternatives. This study is one case in point. Researchers had examined 40 married men aged 18 to 40 who had suboptimal sperm quantity and were unable to have children. Half of the men were given a placebo containing 2 grams of wheat bran per day, and the other half were administered 2 grams of nigella sativa per day. The study lasted for three months. Nigella sativa, also known as black sativa or fennel flower, is a flowering plant native to South and Southwest Asia. A tablespoon of its seeds contains 20 calories, 2.3 grams of fiber, and about a gram of protein, while also dishing out a dose of calcium, vitamin C, iron, and magnesium. But those are just surface benefits. This paper found that nigella sativa consumption leads to a significant increase in testosterone levels by about 32%, as well as an increase in luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone levels by about 62 and 39% respectively. Furthermore, sperm count increased by approximately 39%, sperm motility by approximately 60%, and sperm viability by approximately 47%, and ejaculate volume by approximately 13%, whereas the results in the placebo group did not show any significant changes whatsoever. In other words, significantly higher testosterone and significantly higher quality and quantity of sperm in just three months of nigella sativa consumption. And this was chalked up to the enhanced FSH and LH release as a result of consuming nigella sativa. According to the researchers, the present study recommends the use of nigella sativa as a single treatment for male infertility or complementary with another fertility therapy. Now, I am no doctor, but if you have a genuine medical condition such as hypogonadism, I would never recommend that you utilize an herbal treatment alone. But I don't see how it would hurt to... Uh, uh, add nigella sativa as a supplementary avenue on top of, say, TRT. I also want to make it clear that a 32% increase in testosterone will not give you steroid-like muscle growth. However, it may improve your body composition, for example, via heightened fat loss ability. And I covered why that is the case with supportive research in an old 2016 video titled The Truth About Testosterone Boosters. I've linked that video below. Do check it out for more on that topic. Nonetheless, I still wouldn't shake a stick at 32% more of the big T. Because that's 32% more of the stuff that makes you a man. The healthy range for testosterone in males is about 270 to 1,070 nanograms per deciliter, with an average level of 679 nanograms per deciliter. So, let's say you sit around 679 nanograms per deciliter, or about average. Three months of nigella sativa consumption could kick you up to a little over 896 nanograms per deciliter. And if you sit at the bottom end of the healthy range, or about 270 nanograms per deciliter, three months of nigella sativa consumption uh, could bring you up to a little over 356 nanograms per deciliter. Thus, you would no longer be dangerously riding the border of deficiency. And beyond just testosterone, you'll also be shooting bigger loads, which will also be packing a higher quality and quantity of sperm. So if you are trying to get your girl pregnant, or even just want to hose her down like some kind of a perverted firefighter. Nigella Sativa can help you out in that department too. In fact, I've just received a bag of the seeds myself and have begun using them. I paid $12.99 for an organic product that, at the daily research dose, will last me six months. So that's about two bucks a month or seven cents per day. And I've linked to that product below for your convenience. So why not join me in this quest for self-improvement? Check the description of this video, click on the link, and pick up a bag.
If you're curious how Nigella Sativa tastes, it is a bit strong. It reminds me of black pepper in both smell and flavor. I grind half a teaspoon uh, of it with a tablespoon of flax seeds, and I sprinkle that over my veggies in my first meal, like a seasoning. Half a teaspoon of the product I purchased yields about 2.5 grams of whole nigella sativa seeds, which is 0.5 grams above the research dose. So I'm getting a little more than enough uh, per day to elicit an effect. Now, I would like to see further human studies on nigella sativa with a larger sample size than 40, and I would especially like to see if the seeds have the same effect on healthy men without fertility and or androgen issues. But for now, the results are promising nonetheless, and the seeds are not expensive considering the quantity that you get. Plus, they have a healthful nutritional profile, so even if my testosterone is ultimately unaffected, I am still getting a nutritional benefit uh, from them via dietary fat, fiber, protein, vitamins, and minerals. Uh, it's a whole food after all, not a supplement. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful or interesting. Also subscribe to this channel if you have not already and press that bell button for notifications and check back here weekly. All three avenues will help ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. Also check out the video description for links to my products and services as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And that includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. And my ebooks would be great to pair with a healthful diet containing Nigella Sativa too. Anyway, thank you all for your support. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.